They are at a certain point where they are just, they're too much to spend on a bag. So now for the unboxing. Okay, first of all, this box is a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. This was a good sale. They have so many cute designs. So I found some other things that I'm actually considering as well. I have six bags that are in rotation right now. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. I have on no makeup yet. I I don't have toothpaste on my chin, but I'm gonna prepare something to eat here in a little bit. I haven't eaten yet. Nothing original, I'm just gonna make some avocado toast. But I wanted to let you know there is a promotion going on at Bloomingdale's right now. It's so editing this video, it occurred to me I did not actually talk about the details of the promo. So for $100, you get 15% off, $200, 20% off, and $400, 25% off. So starting today into tomorrow and Make sure you take advantage of that and we're gonna talk about some really great items. But let's keep going. And I know we just posted a vlog recently, so you get two, not in a row, I think there's something in between. And we still have a couple days left before we travel. And there's so many things on the list that I love and have used over and over for years. So I wanted to point those things out because I think they're not only great gifts for yourself, but they're great for other people. In fact, one of the items is something my mom gave us 10 years ago, I wanna say, and I love it. And these are things that are timeless in that wherever I move, I will take these things with me. That's how great they are. So now's a good time to invest in those things that are really high quality, that will last a long time, and are also really beautiful looking. And many of them are things that um, are for the home. I wish I'd started out like this, really investing well in things that I use every day. But I have identified some of those things for you, and I'll let you know also what's on my wish list because I still am collecting things for the home. Now these are some very fancy eggs that my husband picked up in this really pretty, I wasn't sure what they were at first, but in this really pretty packaging. Oh lovely, that is very cute packaging for eggs, who knew? This is one of my first recommendations, it's a Smeg toaster. I love the shape of this, this is something that Again, I kind of gauge things that are timeless based on if I would take this with me. If I moved, I would definitely take this with me. I love it. And we're gonna just make some toast here. I think I'll just make one piece of toast. Just kidding, I'm hungry. Two pieces of toast. As that's toasting, I'm gonna recommend a couple of other items from Smeg. One that I would consider, I'm gonna put a picture here, is the kettle. I love that because I'm always drinking hot tea. It's nice to have that just ready to go. And then also, there's an espresso, espresso maker that I really like. We have a coffee, just a coffee machine, but I'd love to get into more espresso type drinks. So I think that's a really lovely purchase as well as a really beautiful gift. So I definitely recommend checking out Smeg products. And this is a little bit uh, well-loved as well, which is why I think these are such great investments, but it's a Le Creuset skillet. So I love this. I know white is not the best color, but um, love this. Love, love, love this. Definitely would take this if I moved anywhere. I wish I picked up more that matched this color. It's really good. And from my experience and chefs I've talked to, you really only need a few good knives and a chef's knife, chef's knife, chef's knife, wow. Chef's knife is one of them. Not super ripe, but we can work with this. Well, they're not gonna be that pretty, but that's okay. I feel like actually one would have been fine. So I just added here a little bit of kale for fiber and then I added some of this lovely salt. It's my favorite salt. It's from some friends in Kauai from the sea. So they're, or the ocean, their family has a salt farm. And from what I understand, you cannot sell the salt, but it can be gifted. So they gifted us salt, which is actually my favorite salt that I've tried. Um, and we were married on Kauai, so very special. But we have my favorite combination, it doesn't look pretty, but we've got fiber from the kale, we've got protein from the egg, and then we have fat from the avocado as well as the olive oil I used to cook this in. Hello, many hours later. Okay, it's still a mess. It's not as bad, but it's better. <laughs> um, I just filmed the Chantecaille video. Oh my gosh, that 
glow blur powder the blur i can't remember the name the lotus one the new one that's the perfect blur powder with the glow i think that's what it's called perfect blur glow oh let me just look so this one right here by Chantecai, the lotus perfect blur glow powder i don't think the camera captures really how beautiful this powder is because it's really in real life that you can see the beautiful glow i mean i think it's just more glowy with the lights maybe that's it um, but it's a very soft glow it's beautiful but i just changed the lip out so i have on here now the tower 28 coconut okay, i'm going to do my nails i think in this video this is free form by the way a french nail french tip nail what is it called french french manicure i did that just by like eyeballing it um so it's not bad but of course when i look at the contrast i want it to be perfect so here's my free form French manicure. So I got those stickers from Amazon. So we'll do that today too. That'll be fun. And then I have kind of a fun unboxing to do with you. It's, um, let me see. It's something from Bloomingdale's and I haven't bought a bag in a long time. So I've been watching um, Sophie, can't remember her last name on YouTube. I love her luxury handbag. She has like luxury handbags and Porsches. She loves a good Porsche. Um, and so my husband actually watched those because he's a Porsche lover too. But she's been talking about handbags and how the prices keep going up. And I totally agree with her that they are at a certain point where they are just, they're too much to spend on a bag. Like I have the, it's not out right now, it usually is, the double flap medium in the caviar leather that's the most classic bag it was like my dream bag it still is my dream bag but the price on that has almost doubled since i got it and that's way too much so i picked up a bag that's under a thousand that's still a lot of money that's not nothing but it's not anywhere near say the classic chanel double flap um but it's a very nice bag and i was looking for something in a color that i don't already have so I have very few bags. I've been using my Perenza Schooler actually um, quite a bit. Oh, I've got a Louis Vuitton right there. Um, I've been using my Perenza Schooler bag that I got many years ago, the PS1, but I use that one quite a bit. I'll take that out, I'll show you because it's nice. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take it to dinner. We're gonna go to dinner. Again, what is the vlog without dinner? So we're gonna go get dinner and I'll show you the bag because I'm using it quite regularly now because it's got a lot of space in it and it's just, it's a nice different bag that people, I aren't using because it's not like a trendy bag it used to be but I think it's a really classic shape it's kind of a relaxed shape more casual um but I, yeah I just came on here to let you know we're going to dinner I will take you with us I will show you the food but I also wanted to talk about the bag I'm gonna get and show you this beautiful powder I just am so impressed with it so if you were thinking about that glow powder and you wanted something lighter than the perfect glow powder make sure you see my video to um where I try it on, but I think it's also good to see it in different lighting. Like this is a different camera than the one I film with. I don't know if it's more accurate, maybe? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I just like that the other camera is super clear, especially with makeup. You can really see what it looks like. But this one, I think, does a good job too. I feel like I look more like me in this camera. I don't know. The sound, if the sound wasn't like there's a little hiss on this camera. If I could put an external mic on this camera, I probably would use this to make videos. But another thing about this camera is the lighting's kind of temperamental on it. Frame to frame, I almost feel like the lighting looks different. So that's not helpful either when it's not consistent. Off to dinner and we'll do the unboxing. I'm so excited for it. Okay, I have here Essie products. These two came in a kit, but it's funny because I purchased one anyway before this, so I must really like this shade. This shade here is number 40. This is the clear coat. And what I'm using for the white is 136. So we're gonna put on these Orly white tip guides. I feel like I've done this at some point of my life, but my nails at this point, are okay that's one thing i don't love is that it's a little bit more flat than my nail beds are but one thing that i noticed is that my nails are actually growing which is i don't know why 
because they don't usually grow this nicely, but I'm gonna go with it and they haven't broken or anything. So my nails are, for the first time, growing well. Okay, I hope they are sealed tightly enough on the edges because I don't want any paint to, or polish to go in there on the sides. Going in with 136. Okay, I think they're ready to be removed. Let's see. There's always that little edge though, so I don't know, maybe I put on too much. There's a little bit there. I'll have to take care of that somehow. Going in with 40. And then finally, the top coat. They just need to dry. Hopefully I don't move around too much, but I think I like the way they turned out this time. Hello again. If you saw the Thanksgiving video, I just filmed that. So I've got the same makeup on and same sweater, um, but I have on the black Jaguar palette by Chantecaille. So there's that little bit of blue there. I have on Tinted Moisturizer by Chantecaille and Tan and Glow. Of course, Perfect Blur Powder, Perfect Glow Powder as well. On the cheeks, I have the Victoria Beckham, um, oh my goodness, what is the name of that blush I love so much, Major. I found my lip color. I can actually refresh that here in a little bit, but this is the one in Spark. And let's see, what else? And then, oh yeah, a little bit of number nine by Valentino, the blush. And then we're gonna do an unboxing of a bag I actually picked up at Bloomingdale's. I'm gonna show you also the bags, like maybe the top five bags that I have right now that I use in rotation. And there was a little bit of a, an opportunity to fill in a need because once I show you what I have and what I got, you'll see why I got it. But this is a bag that's, again, under $1,000, which I think is really hard to find with any kind of luxury bag. I still wanted to find a nice bag that was something I would keep and use over and over again. I also think of my bags as heirloom bags, things I can pass down. So this fits into that category as well. So I thought I could sit down actually and talk about my recommendations and also talk about some recommendations I think my husband would like and I know you enjoy having him as part of the video so I thought I'd include him for this. And thank you so much to Bloomingdale's for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, so my husband's gonna join me here in a moment. I'm going to lean over a little bit so I can put some of the images here of some of the items. They are things that I've either had or had something similar to them and had good experiences. So the rail shirts, they're button down shirts and they're like a really light flannel. Uh, and I've had, gosh, maybe six or seven of them plaid and then this white version, I've had something either just like it or the same one because there's a little bit of a textured pattern on it. So you can see the texture on there as well. It drapes beautifully, goes with anything. It's a white button down. You know I love a white button down. So I think that's a great one because like I said, I've had them for years and they're still really cozy, especially in the winter time. And then jewelry, that's always a winner. So I actually think Bloomingdale's jewelry is really, really nice because this is Bloomingdale's jewelry. This clover bracelet I wear all the time and then I have those um, long dangly, they've got diamonds on the top and diamonds on the bottom. Those are for my parents, this one and the earrings. So it's like tradition every year, I get something in the form of jewelry from Bloomingdale's from them for Christmas. This was a good sale and they have so many cute designs. So I found some other things that I'm actually considering as well. There's this diamond double O pendant necklace in 14K and it looks similar to this. I get a lot of questions about this necklace. This is the Cartier Love necklace and it's like two rings, but this one's like two O's. So they're a little bit flatter, but these have diamonds on them. I think that's really cute. And like this, for me, I wear this every day. This would be something that could be worn every day if you want to have diamonds every day. I think it's really sweet. And I think they did a really nice job keeping it really tasteful, kind of a small understated, but really interesting, pretty piece. I like that one a lot. And then these earrings, I get a lot of questions about. These are diamond and gold. These come from the Philippines. My mom had them made and then passed them along to me. And so whenever you ask me about them, I feel bad that I can't give you a place where you can get them, but these look very similar. And this is harder to find because usually they're more like huggies where they're really close to the ear and kind of small. But these look, if you look at the model, look very similar in size. So that's the first time I've seen something that looks this close to it. Still not exactly the same, like the sides look different a little bit, but 
very similar if you were looking for that. I know I actually recently had a question about that. And then we have a station bracelet that looks like this clover, but it doesn't have the diamonds and it's gold and it goes, it's got one, two, three, four of those little clovers. I think that's so cute. Actually, that would pair really well with this. So if you want to layer your bracelets, that's really pretty too. That one's 14K. There's this really pretty woven ring and 14 karat gold. I love how it's got that woven pattern. It gives it that texture to it. And I can imagine it catches light in a really beautiful way. And plus it's really chunky. I love those chunky rings. That's one reason I stack my rings like that because I like that chunkier look. And then we have this beautiful heirloom piece that sapphire in the center this is like a really special piece with the diamonds around i think that's just the most beautiful beautiful like i said heirloom statement piece then we've got this shirt from rails another thing from rails i wore this uh very similar t-shirt to this many years ago and i guess it's coming back this cut out it was cream and you probably can go back to my videos and find it but this reminded me of it so this is by rails it's in ribbed cutout top and it's perfect for the winter because it still covers my arms it's long sleeve but you just have this latest cut out there that makes it elevated so it just makes it a little bit different a little bit more special and i think you could dress that one up or down because i have it paired with jeans here but i can see this with my black silk pants a little heel i think that'd be really pretty i love my silk pajamas i have the cami set i said i was looking for like a full set of pajamas but also silk sheets I think would be so luxurious. So I figure if I like that fabric that much and it's that comfortable, then that in sheets form would be really amazing. So those are my picks for the Bloomingdale site for myself and for gifts. But I thought for the men's side, I don't know if we're talking about that. I thought we could look at a few items that I thought would be great for my husband and see what he thinks to see if he agrees with me and see if he would recommend them as well. So if you saw the other video where I said I was wearing the same thing, he changed it's very it's very chilly in here so he's wearing some of his favorite clothes but that's good because why is it cold in here it's i don't feel cold i have a sweater on that's why i have this nice sweater i bought last year okay so i wanted to show you some things off the Wait, you didn't answer the question but why is it cold in here because we have to turn off all air when i film because otherwise it makes a lot of noise and there Thank it is you. So we're going to look at some of the men's items on Bloomingdale's to see if they're things, these are things I would pick for you because he likes what he likes and he will, and he will wear the same things on repeat. So I wanted to find some things that I think you would approve of that you would recommend based on your style. So this is his style, like, uh, well, we'll show you, but very simple, but elegant and classic. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So here's something that I would pick for you. It's a blazer and it's a slim fit. Is this it right here? Yes, this is I it right it here. Now. What do you think? It's by Boss, Hugo Boss, and it's this flannel stretch. Yep, I slim would wear that with a white shirt. Okay, hold on, we're gonna get there. So that one is nice, okay, because he's kind of difficult to purchase for, so I would just purchase things that look like things that he already has. Because you go through them to the point where you want to find something just like it. It's true. We still are looking for this shirt that he found a long time ago in Florida <laughs> and it doesn't yes. exist. So every time we go in a shop, he's looking for that shirt, which doesn't exist. I think that was at the Hyatt in Bonita Springs, Florida many years ago. I still haven't found that shirt. It has a rip in it. That's how much he's worn and loved it. Okay, so here's a white shirt. And the reason why I picked this, not only is it white, button down shirt but look it has this texture on it I like that and I like it that it doesn't have the buttons on the collar oh yeah he like doesn't that. like the buttons on the collar no yes that's true okay so so far two for two two for two also he loves a white t-shirt but it has to be comfortable and so this is a three pack of Calvin Klein t-shirts what do you think I would have to try one on but what was makes this different than other t-shirts? It's hard for me to go wrong with a white t-shirt. That's true. He's like a white t-shirt jeans kind of guy. White t-shirt, blue jeans, sometimes cowboy boots. Yes. Actually, a lot of times. Yes, cowboy and boots. not just sometimes. Pretty Designer much every time. Cowboy boots that are really hard to. Again, those are things that he he got that for my mom. Thank you, mom. Fourteen years ago, and the company doesn't even exist anymore. But everywhere we go, he's looking for boots like that, and cannot cannot find them. I've actually had them rebuilt once. Yes, he had the zippers changed, he had the soles redone, and now they need some help. But he still gets compliments on them. Yeah. Still. They were Mark Nasons. He likes to drive his 
little sports car. And so these are drivers and they're similar to the ones, see if I think they are similar, they're similar to the ones you got in Italy. But they're a little bit distressed. He likes the distressed look. Uh, yeah, I think I would like those. Okay, well then it's going to be easy getting you good. These here? Yes. Yes, I would like those. Okay, well how did I do? You're spot on. Yay. So again, for the Blue Dales promo, that's 15% off $100, 20% off $200, and 25% off $400 just for today through the 29th. So now for the unboxing. Okay, first of all, this box seems a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. Is this the actual box that came in? Yeah, why? Just curious. Yeah, that's the actual box. We have here little items. So a card, and then uh, what is this? And then it just tells you about... This came with my shoes too, the Saint Laurent. Oh, so it's about a bad way Saint Laurent, and I was saying that it's very difficult to find a, a very nice designer bag or luxury bag under a thousand dollars now. Because he went with me, well he didn't go with me, we went together to Italy, and what stores did you go into? Fancy stores. Like? Like Louis Vuitton. Did we? We didn't go into Louis Vuitton. We walked by one. Okay. What did we really- Gucci. We did go into Gucci. Yes. And? Uh, the big one? Chanel. The big one. We went into Chanel. Um, and everything in there is not under $1,000 in Chanel. I just feel like the prices, I agree with Sophie that the prices are just going up, up, up. And it is difficult to find something timeless now that's under 1000 but I think I found something. So it comes in this box like this, in this bag, and it comes like this. And I haven't seen it in person, so I'm, I've only seen it in pictures. So there is one question I have about it though. So taking it out, oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I thought I read somewhere there was a little bit of gold on there, but I anticipated it was just this here. It's a nice color. Yeah, and I don't have anything that's this color. Is that taupe? I think they call it beige, but mm. I liked it because it's not only a clutch, so I have nothing that's a clutch. Well, I do have a Valentina, but I don't wear it anymore. But I was looking for a neutral color because I have, I'm going to show them my handbags here in a minute, but I have that blue one, I have my other Chanel black. I have, um, oh, my PS1 that I use and then pretty much that. I think I only rotate through about, well, now this will be five. So this is the clutch. What do you think? Five. Yeah. Wow. Oh wait, it's not even attached right now. I have to attach it. What do you think of it? I like the color. Yeah. And it's got more than enough room because I love my Chanel back there, but the issue is it doesn't fit my phone. Yep, and, and then and this one would definitely fit. And who phone. who who carries my phone then? That would be me. <laughs> so that way he doesn't have to carry it. And plus, I like to have a clutch because it gives my hand something to do, and I can also, you know, you know, I can just hold it like this. But also, it has this wrist attachment that you can remove, like this, if you want, and just hold it like this if you want. Or I like this because. I sometimes forget where I put things. And this way. Where's my phone? Yeah, that's a very common phrase. Yep. Uh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? It's not in your where's small my phone? Chanel bag, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, so this is what it looks like inside. And it looks like it's fabric in there, but it has plenty of room for my phone and my glasses. So when we have events we need to go to, I can carry this and have all of those things in here instead of in your jacket pocket. Yes. Yay. Yeah, it's a good size. I wasn't sure of the pictures. It looks a little bit like more square than this, but I really like the shape. Nice. Looks so, good. You like it? Yep. So I'm going to show you the other, my other handbags, but I just wanted you here so you could see the unboxing of it. Okay. I'm going to show them my other bags. So if you want to say bye to them, you can say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> Thanks for coming by and letting me know you like those picks for the uh, sale. Okay, so I'm going to show you my five bags that are in rotation. So here's one, two. Let me go grab the other ones and then I can show you what I've got. Okay, so I thought we would show... Actually, there's... I have six bags that are in rotation right now. So the first one is this that I got so many years ago. I don't even remember when in Hawaii. I think it was 
around $500 at the time, so that was a long time ago. Um, but I still love and use this all the time. It's a perfect size for just around town. It fits a phone, fits keys, fits my wallet, and it has a strap. And this is one that I travel with. So I strap this on actually to my Monos backpack, and I have it on the outside um, so that I can quickly access what I need in here again, like my phone, ID, those kinds of things. I love this little bag. Now my next bag that I use quite frequently now, and I've taken out of storage. Um, I have a little storage area inside for my bags. I don't have very many, but it's the PS1 by Peronza Schooler, and I really still love it. And I actually got a compliment on the other day, compliment on it the other day. I think there's like a mini I've seen, but I'll have to see if this is still available. But I love this color combination with the gray and the gold. But this is my um, bag when I want to put a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff. I don't even know what's in here right now. There's a lot of stuff. And I use the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs quite often. I don't take it on the plane though because I don't want it to get dirty, but I do use it in town when I go to something like a farmer's market or something where, where I want to be hands-free and it's still really tailored and put together. And then this is my dream bag because it's such a classic. It's a medium double flap and this is the one that has gone up in price so much that I would not purchase it now at the price that it's at. So I got this in Italy three years ago when we were in Rome. They just happened to have one. I didn't realize it was kind of difficult to get a hold of. So I love that I have this because I had been saving for this bag for years before I got it. And it was just special that it all worked out that it was in Rome when we were there. I was able to pick it up. So it's a really nice memory of that trip as well. But yeah, beautiful bag. But again, I would not pay the price it's at now. Maybe pre-loved because I feel like people who have this bag take care of it. So I, I would go with a pre-loved if you can find one that's authentic. But this is a medium double flap. Yeah, if I were to have a dream bag on top of that, I love the Hermes Kelly, but that one is completely out of control with the price. So I don't know if I'll ever get that bag, but um, it's really lovely. And then if you saw my Italy vlog then you'll know that we picked this one up in Florence this last time and I just really fell in love with the color and it's more of an accessory than anything else like a piece of jewelry because it holds everything but a phone actually my card holder I don't use it because this has a card holder built in and keys and some Kleenex and like a mint <laughs> fit in here, but it's really cute. So I just wanted to get it. it really elevates an outfit. It's just such a special little bag. And then you can kind of fold over. I used it for a wedding recently. You can fold over these. So it's more of a top handle, but that it really is my next bag that I want to get. That's why I love the Kelly so much. I love the top handle bags. So I don't know if there is like another luxury bag out there with a top handle that would serve the same purpose. I don't know. But right now, the, I just have this idea that the Kelly is the one bag that I would want. And then we have now the YSL clutch. I think it's a very classic piece as well. And this was ordered from Bloomingdale's. Yeah, it's lovely. I love the tone. Yeah, so it's got that more pebbled kind of leather, so it should be sturdier as well and wear really well. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoyed seeing my husband again. But the next vlog hopefully will be of our trip. So make sure to tune into that if you're interested. But that's it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.